Hi, welcome to the Super Awesome Show. I'm David. And I'm Shauna. And we are here to tell you, show you the second batch of Archie McPhee products for 2021. Ready? What a fantastic load of products. <laughs> I'm glad you said products. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shauna, why don't you choose one and begin? <laughs> okay, so it's been a stressful year, right? Yes. Okay. What about a stress possum to squeeze your stress away? I've heard possums are trending this year. <laughs> I and think, did we create that? And did you, <laughs> I think we did. I think we were a large so, part of it. I remember, I, that's us. I remember talking about possums and, and saying like, these will never trend. <laughs> you are so, so wrong. So let's do it. I know, they have snaggly teeth and fleshy tails. But of course, this little stress possum doesn't have any of those things. He's just a little soft, lovable, uh, bundle of possum and you know he's a good therapist though you can choose your possum therapist you can go to possum psychology today and type in you know whatever you need help with then it'll assign a possum to you wow so yeah. he's a good one though this is a good possum okay he's, he's for anxiety problems yeah definitely he's but and he's adorable there's also let's say you have anxiety problems <laughs> once a month <laughs> <laughs> Under a full moon. moon. Then we also have a stressed werewolf <laughs> who smells mildly like strawberries. <laughs> it's very mild. We we had hoped he would smell a lot like strawberries, but when he came in, he only smelled mildly of strawberries. <laughs> like he had used a strawberry scented shampoo earlier in the day. Let me smell it. No, I take that back because any shampoo oh. that a werewolf used would like <laughs> overwhelm the room because <laughs> it's his whole body. <laughs> Gee, your hair smells terrific. <laughs> Strawberry werewolf. Yes, and speaking of smell, <laughs> this oh. is open and we can smell the banana. That's the banana scented possum. The ba banana scented possum air fresh. Because banana possum is trending. Oh, and uh, it's very, <laughs> it's very strong. Um, <laughs> it smells like. Air it out a little bit before you yeah. put it in your car. Ooh. It smells like the banana peel uh, the possum slept on last night, and you can see he's playing dead. So um, he's not dead. He's just playing dead. He's playing. He's playing possum. That, he's playing possum as yeah. they do. Yep. As oh. they do. Oh, more possums. Ready? Should I'm I do so it? I'm so ready. <laughs> you ready? Ah! <laughs> Look at those possums. Look at those possums. They're these crazy. These are finger puppets. Now these do have snaggly teeth and fleshy tails. <laughs> Look at those tails. That's one of the things I really like about our finger puppets as opposed to other people's finger puppets is the inclusion of things like the fleshy tail. It's the details that count. It is the details that count. And even our little raccoon finger puppets. See, we kind of had a things that root around in your garbage, garbage. can. Uh, <laughs> yeah feeling for this year. The and other thing about our finger puppets is that our finger puppets can hold little things. You can true. actually have them hold things because they have their little arms It's like a little stretch. acorn or I don't know what else could you put in there? Strawberry. Strawberry. You could put a strawberry, a grape, a, a good sized grape. Some ga small garbage. A small avocado. <laughs> <laughs> can I show my favorite finger puppet yes. that we've ever done? Show it. Oh. Uh, I dropped it. Ah. <laughs> Look at this. I have finger crows. These little dollops of crow goodness um, fit right in your finger. You can see they're swooping with their little danglers down. Um, they're very uh, realistic except for their squat body. And uh, we actually had so much fun with these. We took pictures of them uh, with peanuts like flying in because you know I love to feed the crows peanuts. You, so, he is the crow whisperer. It's incredible. Yes. Pepper calls me the crow king. So, uh, croaking. But I love these things so much. Okay. I don't want to put them there. I know. I'm they are your them. favorite. The, uh, they them. are magnificent. They and are. so the realistic little feathers, oh my God, they're good. Um, okay, so the other thing we have is bat finger puppets. Look at these bats. And they're, they're, they're so beautifully done, and they're a brown shade, more like a bat that you would see, not a Halloween bat so wow. much. Flicker, flicker, flicker. This is how they really fly, too. So Catching good. a mosquito, yum, Woo! delicious. Did I tell you the crows gave me a nickname? <laughs> Was it? <"Gah!"> <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Shauna. <laughs> Steal my punchline. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were gonna say something different. <laughs> Here are 
the little perky little meerkat finger oh my puppets. Goodness. Look at those guys. Oh, and look at their little faces. I like they're their so little cute. turned heads. I know they have little judgy. <laughs> they're like little judgy peepers. They like peep up over things. And they look at you with a look like, yeah, I know what you're doing. They are judgy peepers. I thought that was your nickname but that was given to you by the crows. <laughs> <laughs> judgy peepers? I like their little I know, they're very, hands. they're very cute. I um, guess they're, are they legs or arms at this point? I think they're, well, we always call them arms just because they're at the top part yeah. of the body. And they do And like again, that. the cool tail. That's so awesome. Yep, they're so neat. And they look sideways. I love them. Yeah. Look at these what bandanas. What you got? Oh. Look at That's this. That's so nice. This is a pretty bandana. <laughs> it's Bigfoot. You could wrap it around your face, but if you unfold it, you can see it has bits of the Pacific Northwest, has uh, Mount Rainier. Yes. It has pine trees. It has Bigfoot. If you do it like so, look at that. Mask it up. Mask it up. That's Very such good. a, it's so cool. And then our other super cool uh, bandana oh, this, this year, yes, is the monster bandana, okay? So, I mean, it really depends on which monster is your favorite, but we have all the cool monsters. Look at that. Look at and then monsters. look who makes a little, look Look who makes a little cameo. It's true. Your buddies. Your, I know, the, the designers have started putting crows on things just to attract <laughs> me to it. <laughs> It's so funny they, how people say crows are attracted to things, but you're attracted to things with crows. Yeah, they're like, we'll just put a crow on it. And then I'm like, ooh, a crow. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite monster? Do you have one? Um, I think of those, I really like the vampire because yep. it fits in so well with the red color. Yeah. But I like the crazy eye on Frankenstein, too. Because he's oh, got yeah. one f crazy red eye. And I like his shifty eye. Oh, yeah. He's got the shifty eye. That's but a, my husband says that there's only one monster and that's always a vampire he what? thinks it's the only acceptable monster that's the only acceptable monster <laughs> well the best and only okay <laughs> i don't understand that at all <laughs> i'm gonna debate <laughs> i'm gonna debate him on that one <laughs> the only monster oh <laughs> we also who who wasn't stuck inside for a year and a half and who didn't have a bad hair day so uh Without hairdressers, you're kind of limited in what you could do. So this is, we decided to do this to celebrate um, uh, pandemic hairstyles. So you can see on the back, there's all of the uh, long bangs, bedhead, windswept, self-cut. I personally uh, could only get my hair to do the octopus for the longest time. Uh, right? <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. We were all a little shaggy at a certain point. Totally. <laughs> what can you do? I know. Oh, should we do some playing cards? Please. I think we should. Okay, beautiful meow kitty cat playing cards, right? And I love this pink tin, by the way. Yes. Um, and the cards are so cool. Okay, I'll go through this fast. Sorry about the noise. Um, look at this. Beautiful. The king, the queen. Look at them all. And then the ace. Oh my gosh. What else? What else we got there? Well, you oh, should where's also... Oh, where's the Joker? I think he's like, Is he there? Right. You got it? It's you like got the it? next card. Get him. And the Jokers <laughs> are dogs. Get it? Because it's, the cards are from a cat's perspective. <laughs> so from a cat's perspective, there's nothing dumber than a dog. And then here's a mouse Joker also. Oh, look at that weird cat, too. Look at, look at that guy. <laughs> he's just weird. Oh, and here, look at this one. The Sphinx cat. Yes. Um, each suit has a different kind of cat. I don't yeah. know that they call them cat breeds, but they have a different kind of cat on them. Um, and uh, of course, Shauna's favorite are the black kitty cats. Because I have three black kitty cats at home. And they're lucky. They're so cute. They are. Yeah, so, so all cute. the face cards are cats. And then, yep, the Jokers. And, they, and it comes in this really nice tin. Yep, kitty cards. So, kitty cards. Available now. Yes. So much is available now. We're not out of everything like some people are. I know, it's crazy. We, we sell a lot in stock, except for that Santa possum we told you about last time. Yeah. Gone. You guys, you bought them all. Gone. Good job. Did you do that I did. By the way, I got one. Did you? Oh, I'm so I glad. I got one. I got, we had I'm three so left glad. and I bought one. Ugh. It was Sorry. A good thing. Um, our Bigfoot air freshener is one of our most popular air fresheners. 
So we did a, another Bigfoot air freshener, and this one's the I Believe Bigfoot because people were telling us that there's such a conversation starter when they have them on their car. Yeah. And this just lets people know that you have a definitive position on Bigfoot, which is that he exists and he's awesome. Yep. And also yep. features a UFO. And Mount Rainier, <laughs> as we do. Uh, I think these are the last two. Okay. Uh, candy. Oh. Well, there's one more. Oh, yeah. We'll see that at the end. <laughs> uh, ketchup candy. And pho candy. And this is uh, America's most popular condiment, is ketchup. And this tastes like very sweet, sweet ketchup. Yes, and it does. And the um, color is kind of an off white and red. Very tasty. Are you going to taste one? Sure. All right. And I have fog candy, which is that delicious, savory noodle soup. Which is so good. That is delicious. And this is one of the candies that we actually, um, all the staff talks about how we actually think the flavor is really, really yummy. It's yeah. not just a weird experience. And this is like licking the top of a tomato paste can. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's very tomatoey. It's very sweet. See, we didn't want to have them add extra sweet. Right, we didn't want them to add extra sweet in because it's made with sugar. Right. So it's just the tomato thing with the sweetness it's coming from the sugar. It's tomatoey. And then the pho. Yeah. And they come in these very cool tins. Here, I'm going to taste it. Ready? Mm -hmm. It is crazy how much that tastes like that soup. I know. It's so good. That one's really herby, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. And finally, last but not least, the um, Archie McPhee tardigrade shirt that looks very much like this, but this is the staff version of the shirt. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, just cover up where it says Staff 2021, and it's pretty much the same thing. Um, and uh, this is available on the Archie McPhee website, which is mcphee.com, Archie McPhee, and uh, at the Archie McPhee store at? Uh, 1300 North 45th Street in Seattle's own Wallingford. And you can say hi to the Wallingford Beast while you're there, too. Hey, Beast. <laughs> what you do, Beast? <laughs> also, the Beast likes to be brought presents, so consider it. He likes meats. <laughs> and shoes. All right, bye everybody.